Good morning and welcome back to Community Couch Time. I'm Ms. Guadalupe Carrasco Cardona and I'm going to come to you daily with topics that we should be talking about, things that are happening globally, things that are happening nationally, things that are happening in our community, but most importantly, things that we oftentimes don't talk about and the question is, why shouldn't we? And um, the thing that's really amazing is that um, we get to share our perspectives with another amazing human being, Ms. Tiffany Wallace. Good morning, great minds and good people. I'm Miss Tiffany Wallace, and thank you for having me for Community Couch Time. Now, let's start the discourse. Good morning, welcome back to Community Couch Time. Miss Wallace, it's been a while, how are you? I'm all right, Miss Cardona, how are you doing? I'm, you know, like, like, it was said at the beginning of the, um, the whole pandemic about nine months ago, um, you know, all of us during this period of time are going to know someone who, um, you know, was impacted by everything that comes with being in the middle of a pandemic. So it's, it's been, um, it's been a rough couple of weeks and um, it's really gotten me thinking a lot about this notion of, you know, being a caregiver and, um, you know, the thing that's sad about the pandemic is since um, a lot of folks when they're getting sick they can't be with their loved ones um, when their loved ones are sick um, but before the pandemic um, you know there was an opportunity for caregivers to be in closer proximity to to their loved ones and so I just wanted to see like what do you think about this whole notion of of being a caregiver it's something that's very close to me um, and my experiences that I've had, uh, and, you know, this morning I found out that Samakia, who's a friend of my family, oh. um, she passed away. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, thank you. Can you tell me and, a little bit about Samakia? I want to know a little bit about her. She was a close friend of my aunt. Um, and uh, when my mother was sick uh, in 2010, she came in and visited and helped take care of my mom to give me a break because I was my mother's primary caregiver. Oh. And, you know, I, um, I would do little dances and stuff like that to convince my mom to like, eats basically and take her medication and I called myself her health elf um which a badge I wore very proudly but it was a lot for me to do and I like was just getting overwhelmed with it and my mom had she had breast cancer and um so Samaki came and uh she spent a, a little over like a weekend a few days while I went to an ultimate frisbee tournament and played and had like a break and, um, you know, just enjoyed myself so I could get back to taking care of my mom and not just take care of her, but happily take care of her. Um, and so it meant a lot to me for her to, to come and, and, and take care of my mom when she needed it. And when I needed her to help, um, and then I, I mean, and, and it's hard because she passed away a few months after that, actually. And, and that makes me feel a little bit of regret. Like, should I have taken that time or not? I mean, I didn't know. How can you, how can you know when someone's going to leave? And so um, for her to pass away and then for me, you know, uh, it's very hard. Um, but at the same time, I'm so grateful for what she did to take care of my mom, be there for her, have my mom have a lot of peace and have me have peace so that I could be there for her too. That's really beautiful. That's very important. Um, I'm sorry for, for your loss, um, with Samakia and I'm sorry um, for your loss with your mom, but it, it's very beautiful. It makes me um, have just a whole lot of um, respect for you to know that you, you know, you cared for your mom. That's really important. Um, 
you know, that's important in, I know in like the, the my culture and, and um, the communities I come from, um, that we care for our elders. And, um, you know, cause sometimes there are cer certain communities that, that don't, they, you know, they kind of just don't want to deal with it. And it's a beautiful bond, I'm sure that, that, um, that you can never, never replace. So I think that that's, yeah. yeah, I was able to, um, you know, reconcile some issues that I had had with my mom during that time of mm -hmm. caregiving with her before she passed. Yeah. And so I'm very grateful for that. Um, it was some challenging conversations, but we actually came out a lot closer mm -hmm. and I understood her better and she understood me better too, because we talked about things that were really hard to talk about. Right. Um, and I was absolutely committed. And I, even though I was silly and I would make songs <laughs> about doing her medication and, and trying to convince her, I was incredibly militant about making yeah. sure that we're going to do this and, um, you know, serious about that. And uh, I, you know, but I'm also grateful because my mom got to be a senior citizen and, and mm -hmm. Samakia as well. And that's something that because of that experience, I look forward to that, yeah. not just being young, have fun and live kind of a fast life. That's a choice that people can make yeah. and it's okay. But at the same time, another choice is to enjoy life, to live an older age, have be full of memories and yeah. tell the same stories over and over again. <laughs> it's probably me. <laughs> Already. <laughs> Like, remember that time oh yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. And hear that as part of your own legacy and the own your own library of yeah. um, experiences um, and become a senior so um, that's definitely something that I look forward to like I imagine um, like my kids one day if they choose to have kids you know bringing their kids and their grandkids even to my house and having like carne asadas in the backyard and you know just family time just playing and then you know and then everyone can leave or they can stay but just knowing that they feel welcome and so that's something that really makes me think of you know staying healthy as well um with this pandemic, I haven't gotten as much exercise as, as I need. So I've been trying to get up in the morning and go for walks. And um, my husband and I went on a bike yesterday, a little bike ride. So um, yeah, just trying to do that to stay healthy. Um, and so before we go, I just want to recommend um, to those of you out there who enjoy watching movies to consider watching um, A Sacred Journey, which I will put the link to in um, on the YouTube in the, in the comment section. It's a movie by a, actually a local person from Lincoln Heights, this East LA area, Ernesto Quintero, and it's about his family. A really, really, really good, powerful movie about caregivers um, that all of us either will be a caregiver or um, will need a caregiver to take care of us at some time in our lives. And so it's really, it's really a powerful story that I highly recommend folks watching. So for today's daily, um, journal uh, question. The question is, is, um, you know, when have you had to care for someone that you care about? What was that experience like? Or when has someone that you um, trust and love had to care for you? Thank you. Have a great day. In the catch. In the catch.